Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you my five tips, five steps on how to use your foam cannon. Now over here I have two pressure washers, one gas and one electric. And me personally, I love the gas pressure washer because it gives more pressure, gives more PSI, which really helps aerate your product to give you more foam. But a lot of you guys are stuck in apartments where you're restricted to noise or if you don't want to wake up your neighbors and you have to use an electric pressure washer. Now that's not to say you can't get tons of foam and tons of thick suds using an electric pressure washer, but as a personal choice, I love the gas pressure washer. Now also, when you're choosing which foam cannon to buy, if you're looking for one or if you have one, all your friends got one, now you're super jealous of what they have, this Torx Snow Foamer is the way to go. Now you can use this with your gas or an electric pressure washer. It only requires about 800 PSI to give you that same thick size that you see in all of our videos. And it attaches to any traditional quarter inch pressure washer. And this is gonna give you those same thick suds that lubricate your surface so you don't scratch it. Now to start, I'm gonna use our gas brush washer. We're gonna set up our two buckets and then we're gonna wash this Nissan Versa showing you how to use your foam can. So now that you've chosen your pressure washer and your foam cannon, let's move on to the soap. Now, if you wanna get a lot of soap and a lot of suds, which is gonna help lubricate your surface so you don't scratch it, you wanna go with something like Honeydew Snow Foam. Now, this is gonna enhance the gloss of this black paint job while also creating tons of suds so we don't scratch it. And also, we're gonna be using our two bucket method, which is gonna help us prevent bringing any of that dirt back on the vehicle. These cones are gonna filter out any of that abrasive particles so we don't scratch the finish. So to start off, we're gonna place a dirt trap in each one of our buckets. And then for our wash bucket, we'll place about an ounce of our wash solution to add extra foam and cleaning power. So now that we're done setting up our buckets, we can roll into our tip number three, and that is setting up your foam cannon. Now earlier I mentioned we're gonna be using our Torx Snow Foamer. This is gonna produce tons of suds using less PSI, and those suds are gonna help lubricate the surface so we don't scratch the finish on this black Nissan. So first you're gonna unscrew your canister, and what's great is we're gonna accessorize our foam cannon today by getting rid of our traditional canister bottle and using our secondary clear bottle. This has your dilution ratio on the side here. This way you get the perfect amount of soap to get those awesome suds. And also for those of you guys that have damaged your previous bottles, it's a great way to replace the original. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about an ounce to this. And an ounce is about half of this first line here. So we're gonna fill it all the way up to there, fill the rest up with water, then we can attach it to our pressure washer and start our foaming process. Check that out. Now you've got this awesome container that's gonna help showcase the product that you're using. It looks really cool and also looks very professional. Now that brings us to our tip number four, and that's actually washing your car. You wanna start off by rinsing it, and that's gonna help take down all that heavier, loose, abrasive dirt before you start washing the vehicle because that's gonna help reduce scratches. Now you wanna start from the top of the vehicle and work your way down so you don't bring any of that dirt into areas you've already cleaned. And also for some of you shorter detailers, you wanna be sure that the surface is completely clean of any of that loose dirt and debris before you actually start foaming it. This way you can reduce as much of that dirt from scratching the surface as you wash. So we have our pressure washer set up, we're gonna start rinsing it, and then we can start foaming. Now before we start foaming, there's just a couple more things I wanna go over. Now obviously this Versa wasn't incredibly dirty. It's got that light dust and debris and bird droppings that you get as a daily driver. But still, it's a good show car to show you exactly how to use your foam cannon. Now, as a professional detailer, you obviously want to start with the dirtiest area, and that's the wheels. They're already clean because we did that off camera. There's tons of videos on our channel showing you how to clean wheels, so we're skipping right ahead to the wash process. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our foam cannon by attaching it to our wand here. Just pull back on this quarter inch sleeve, and it slides directly onto the foam cannon, snaps into place, and you're ready to go. And uh, also up here on top, you have your fan adjust. So now by keeping your fan adjust wide open, that's a thick stream of thick suds, and then by closing it, the tighter you go, this is gonna adjust the fan to a more vertical fan, and this is gonna help you cover more surface area. Also on top, you have your soap adjust. Keeping it wide open is gonna be pure water. And then all the way to the right, thick suds. And we're gonna turn our pressure washer, and then in the same manner that we did with our rinsing process, we're gonna start at the top of the vehicle, working in straight lines, covering as much of the vehicle with these thick suds, and then we'll give it a moment to emulsify anything that's on the surface, and then we'll start scrubbing it off. Now as our last step, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to maintain your foam cannon. 
Now, this is a big deal because a lot of the time people put their foam cans away either when they're full of water, full of soap, and over time that's going to create calcium deposits, which make it so these don't operate at their optimal pressure or they're getting, producing the right amount of foam. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump out the rest of the soap that's left in here. And then we're also going to clean this out just so we don't get any kind of soap buildup or calcium inside of the bottle. Just a little bit of water, run through the system here. And then we're going to hook it back up to our pressure washer and run all the water through the whole system once more. So if you guys want to learn more about these products, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to drop a comment below so we can more tailor these videos to what you guys are looking for. And we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.